Hello guys, it's MeshTech here. Welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you how to add box arts to your game lists in RetroArch. If you haven't installed RetroArch yet, I put you a link to my video where I show you how to install it in the video description. Box arts are just small covers to the games in your game list to show you or to give you an impression of what game you currently have selected in your list. It's a small image showing the cover of the game. So if you like to get box art for RetroArch running on your RT350, just grab it and let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna need the proper box art images for the system we wanna add the box arts for. Therefore, I put you a link in the video description. It will take you to a website um, of libretro. So these are the official box art packs for each system that are supported by um, RetroArch. And for example, we want to download the box art covers for the Nintendo Game Boy. So just search for it in the list and download that archive. It's, they're all quite huge, so it's going to take some time. I'm going to speed this up for you guys and meet you back when I finish the download. Okay, now that the download is complete, let's jump over to our downloads folder and check what we've downloaded. Now, since I already have downloaded this package, it gave it this um, index one here. So for you, it will appear as Nintendo minus Game Boy dot zip. Um, just extract it to take a look into um, this folder and see what we just downloaded. Uh, as you can see, it has a Nintendo minus Game Boy folder. And in this folder, there are three further folders called Name Box Arts, Named Snaps, and Named Titles. We only need that Named Box Arts folder here. So let's jump into this. And as you can see, it has covers for almost all Game Boy ROMs out there. So this is what we actually need. Now we have two options. We either copy the complete folder to our target. That's what I would recommend. Just copy all the box arts to your RG350, not to the device itself, but to the SD card. So in time when you add ROMs to it, it will always have the correct cover on board. Otherwise, if you feel like you need to save space on your SD card, I don't know what size it is, but the size should not matter. Like mine is 64 gigabyte, so I don't care about 100 or 200 megabytes. Um, you could select out all covers that you just don't need and leave the covers in that folder that you uh, have ROMs for. That would lower the size for sure, but since I'm lazy and I feel like I don't want to put any more effort into this when I add ROMs. I just copy over the complete covers to my SD card. So um, just copy this and change to your um, SD card. So I already uh, put my SD card into a SD card reader and it's named RG350 and I created a folder called RetroArch in there and in this folder called RetroArch we need a new folder called Thumbnails. Okay. Now let's jump into this folder and there we create a new folder that has to have the same name as our game list. So it would be Nintendo white space minus white space game white space boy okay then we jump into that folder and there we paste the named box arts folder all right actually that's all we have to do now let's jump back to the RG350 and add these box arts to a playlist so all we have to do is just to start RetroArch again wait until it has launched here we are go over to settings 
jump down until you find the um, playlist entry. And to show you guys from the scratch, um, go to playlist management. I'm gonna um, delete my Nintendo Game Boy list. So I choose it, say delete playlist. Okay, now I jump back. And again from settings, go down to your directory entry, find the thumbnails option, choose it and now we have to set the correct folder to our thumbnails. Since we copied it over to our SD card, we have to choose the right directory on the SD card. You will find it on media, RT350, that's the name of my SD card. Then I put it into the RetroArch folder. There it's called thumbnails. And this is the entry point for all thumbnails. So if you later add further systems, you just add more folders here. For example, Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, now we have Nintendo Game Boy here. So we have set the ROM directory, we have set the thumbnails directory correctly. Uh, we go back and we scan the directory of our Game Boy ROMs. So I choose that directory, it's located on my SD card, into the ROMs folder, going down there to Game Boy and say scan this directory. I will fast forward this for you guys and show you the result after it's finished. Alright, the scan has complete. Now press the B button to jump back. And now we have that new list over here showing the Game Boy symbol. And if you switch over to that list, ta-da, you have the box arts for all your entries here. Now for all the other systems, it's pretty straightforward. Just go to the libretro thumbnail list, download the images for the system you like. Come back here and scan for your ROM list. If you scan, use scan directory to scan your ROM list. It creates you a correct game list for RetroArch. And this is really necessary to show box art in the right way. If you use a manual scan down here, it will not work as far as I recognized. There are also alternatives out there to create a playlist on your own and copy it over to the RG350 with some external tool. <clears throat> I haven't got familiar with this technique, but maybe I will get into this and show it in a, another video. So for today, that's it. I hope you got an impression of how to add box arts to the RG350 using RetroArch. I hope you liked the video. Just if you like, it would help me a lot if you give me a thumbs up. And um, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see further videos like this. That's it. Have fun with BoxArt and RetroArch. I wish you happy gaming and see you in my next video. Bye.